Hey, welcome back. Hope everybody is having a great Wednesday. And thank you so much for joining me talking all things Masters of the Universe. Today on the channel, guys, we're looking at the final figure of Wave 21 of the cartoon collection and that of Mantana. We'll take a look at the figure in the packaging only. We'll look at the beautiful art it comes with. Of course, we will compare this version of Mantana to its uh, original Origins version that came out. And, of course, we'll look at its classic version, thanks to Pixel Dan or Dark Horse Comics. All right. Now, of course, at the end of the video, I will rank these figures, which is She-Ra, Ram Man, and Mantana, to my least favorite, to my favorite figures All right, of this wave. Of course, if you are new to my channel or first time watching, I hope you will subscribe afterwards. I hope you will hit that like button and thank you so much for doing that. Hit that notification bell when you know I upload new videos and please share this video who has a passion and a love for collecting all things Masters of the Universe. Without further ado, let's take a look at Mantena. All right, here he is. Here we go. Let me get the packaging let me get the box a little bit closer here. Of course, you got the more updated, more um, very beautiful box art of, of the He-Man at the, at the Master Universe. You got Hordak right there. Uh, you got the 40th anniversary of She-Ra sticker right there. Here's a He-Man. Of course, you got Mantana, the evil spy with popping out eyes. Uh, beautiful. I mean, absolutely amazing artwork of Grayskull from Filmation. And there's old Mantana. There he is in the packaging. And of course, once I do get my, my second version of Mantana, which I'm hoping to get very soon on the channel within the week or so I hope fingers crossed that I hope you will come back and join me with to do the unboxing with like She-Ra and Ram Man as well but there's old Mantana in the packaging he looks absolutely amazing really good when I think of Mantana you know this is the Mantana I think about when I remember him in the filmation card in the, in the Prince of the Power line this is per I mean they did an amazing job with old uh, Mantana here. The detail looks great. He looks, um, he looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. Of course, you got the Cartoon Collection logo here. There's a couple things that I, 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 I'm curious. I, I'm, something that's missing. And I'll talk about that when I'm, you know, what's missing uh, between uh, Mantana. And I guess she was the same way. Um, but I'll, tell, I'll talk about that here in a second, everybody. So there he is, of course, the background. You see the, the, the comic that comes with him. Of course, I will show off the comic once I do unbox them. But beautiful. I love the artwork right there. It looks amazing. And something very unique, too, about both Mantanas, um, his original version from Origins and the cartoon collection. I'll show you what, what I mean by that. And stuff around the back. Some beautiful artwork right there. Hordak right there. I, 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 I just thought... You know, being the 40th anniversary, I thought that the Hordak, his filmation style figure, was part of this wave. I guess I was wrong. But you have Hordak right there. And there's a there's someone I would love to get in Origins. You know, we got her in Masterverse. And of course, that's Shadow Weaver. I would love to get an Origins version of Shadow Weaver. Um, and I'm kind of curious if they will do the same style um, with Shadow Weaver that we got with Masterverse. And putting her on a flight stand. I think that would be very cool. <clears throat> but there she is, and there's old uh, Mantana right there. You got the Princess Power logo here. Of course, he does have the same function as the original Orson's version, or the classic, you know, version of Mantana. There he is, he posed in different uh, uh, powerful posing uh, 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 images, and and and, uh, uh, and fully articulated, uh, twist into powerful battle positions. Amazing, absolutely. Amazing. Of course, the cross cell. We got Shira and Ram Man, which we both we all looked together on the channel, and now we're looking at Ram Man. All right, all right. Now flipping back around. So the one thing I'm I'm noticing, you know, I don't know if it's, is this the Shira line or not, but and I guess for some reason, like I thought, my understanding is the cartoon collection um, was supposed to have an item included with their figures. To you know, from an episode of the Princess Power line, or or the you know the Master Universe He Man line, um, but there is no item that was included with um, Mantana here. Uh, nothing. There's no item like Ram Man, which got that that idol of Shodaki. Um, so that makes me believe that even Shira um, did not get an item. You know, a a, a a very a very unique item that was included. You know, in a specific episode. 
um, like, you know, He-Man's line, or, you know, or the cartoon collection, you know, that focuses more on He-Man. So I'm curious about that, if that's just only a He-Man thing only, or in the Princess of the Power line, it's not going to be getting included any, you know, um, item, you know, with their figures. Because the only item that I saw, which was unique in this wave, as you saw in the videos, was Ram Man. Ram Man had the only very unique item included with him, and She-Ra and Mantana did not. So I'm kind of curious about that, if that... It's something that was just a He-Man thing only, or only He-Man in, in, in his universe, and she is not. So I'm kind of curious about that. But regardless, this is an amazing version of Mantena here. I love it. You know, like I said, when I think about Mantena, this is what I think about, you know. Now, let me bring out, you know, the vintage version, you know, in the packaging, and I do have one loose. So here is the, <clears throat> this is, of course, based off the 80s version of Mantena. Um, totally, totally different styles here. You know, look at that. Look at the, even the, like the whole. I mean, everything is so different from both versions here. And what's also unique, you know, about the two figures here, is that this version of Mantena, if you remember, was part of He-Man's 40th anniversary. Right there, there's, there's a sticker. And of course, this Mantena is representing She-Ra's 40th anniversary. So I thought that was kind of nice how they booked in it from you know from book to you know. From end to end, I thought that was really nice. They did that, you know, uh, giving us both these incredible versions of a Mantana, very different takes on Mantana, both part of both, you know, these incredible runs for both He Man and She Ra. I love it. And the fact that, you know, you can, if you want to create your, you know, and of course, I'm going to get you know, Mantana here, you know, my, my loose version of him. And with Origins, you can mix and match, you can change it around, you can create some very crazy, very unique. Um, figure or Mantena figure in your collection. I cannot wait to unbox him, see what, what we can do and how we can make this ultimate version of Mantena, you know, in the collection. I you know, I think that's wild. You know, and, and another thing, you know, you know, being a collector, you know, in the, you know, you know, you know, in the 80s, you know, and watching the Prince's Power Line or the cartoon or the Filmation cartoon, you know, I never questioned it. I'm, I'm sure you might be, maybe didn't either uh, on why the figures were so different, you know, from the cartoon to toy form because we didn't care. I didn't care. You know, I'm speaking for myself. I mean, just the fact that you have these amazing figures um, was, you know, was, you know, it's all I needed. You know, I didn't really care. Now I'm thinking about, you know, years and years later, I, I, I stopped to wonder, you know, huh, why, why would I never question that? Why, you know, because it's, it's so different styles and looks of the, you know, of the same figure, but the same functions were there. But I never questioned why, when I watched the cartoon from the Princess of Power cartoon or, or Filmation or He-Man cartoon, you know, if I saw Mantena, you know, on the screen, I'm like, that's, you know, that's Mantena. But this is also Mantana. I didn't question why so the, the vast difference between these two figures because I just love the show, you know, and I didn't care. And so I think that's wonderful how they were able to do that. M Mattel, you know, was able to, you know, regardless of what we we're watching, you know, you know, they would make these incredible figures for us for the 80s now in the Origins line and... And now we have both versions. I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if, I, if I'm rambling on everybody. I think that's amazing. I think um, out of the two versions of, of Mantana here, of course, I will pick the cartoon collection version like over this one. But this one, you know, representing the the 80s vibe and feel and look of Mantana. I mean, I mean, I love it. But to me personally, you know, this is the Mantana I remember, you know, when I used to watch the, the Princess of Power cartoon. Or if you ever cross over with He-Man and stuff like that. That, to me, is my Mantana. And I'm so happy that they were able to create this great version of this iconic character from Horde, from the Horde. Amazing. Absolutely. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and feelings of, you know, the, the two you know very radical looks of Mantana here. Um, which one is your favorite out of the two here? Do you, do you prefer the, the Princess of Power or the cartoon collection version of Mantana? Or do you have that more of that 80s nostalgia um, with Mantana, with the Origins line? Uh, let me know. I mean, like I said, both are great. They, they're amazing figures. And, of course, with the cartoon collection, uh, there's no weapons at all. There's no crossbow 
or nothing. Because I believe in the, in the show, um, he would use his hypnotic beams in his eyes to uh, hypnotize uh, and control his victims or his you know or the good guys. So unfortunately, no no type of like crossbow or anything. But with Origins, if you wish to give him a crossbow, you can do that. You can give him a gun. You can give him anything. This is what I love about this universe of Origins is that you can come up with some great deal. Like if you wish to put the the the, the legs. You know, if you want to pop the waist off and, and put the legs or, you know, mix and match, change it all about, you know, have blue arms. And, you know, I mean, you can just go crazy with this, you know, with this figure. It's amazing. Absolutely. I love the horse symbol, too, by the way. It looks great. Now, for fun, I'm going to show you what he his classic version, thanks to Pixel Dan and Dark Horse Comics. All right. So here he is. Came out in 2013. There's old Mantena. That looks great. I love that face sculpt right there. Looks like he has some eyes that, I guess, snap into place. I guess they don't have that. I guess it had the, the, the same uh, action fe feature with Mantena. There's the crossbow. And this would look like front to back, side to side. All right. But amazing. Absolutely amazing. So my only question is, is that if if the Prince of Power line or figures, except you know, you know, in the, in the world of Shira, uh, will not include you know any type of you know specific item, um, I'm I'm looking, I'm think I'm making sure there's nothing in the packaging here, um, you know, in her in her line will not include any like I said any specific uh, item for a specific uh, episode. I'm I don't know sure how I feel about that, you know. Of course, this is her 40th anniversary. I'm I'm hoping that Mattel will do something very special for her 40th anniversary. She did it for 35th, 5th, you know, for the 35th anniversary of, for her. He-Man got one, you know. If you want to do another double pack for Masterverse, you know, with She-Ra and Hordak, you can, I would love that. I think that'd be amazing, you know. Um, so I I do hope that Mattel will give us something very special to you know to give us you know for the 40th anniversary i would love an adora and spirit like two pack you know like we got with adam you know for the cartoon collection get you know i think that would be kind of with, with with adam and cringer if they want to do us you know give us a a adora you know spirit or you know or swift wind um kind of two pack you know uh, i would love first of all i would love to get swift wind or 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 or, or spirit you know you know, in the in the collection, I think that's something that's over overdue. Getting a, you know, a Swift Wind or or Spirit in the collection for Origins or even Masterverse as well. I I hope that's something that the, it's on the minds of Mattel and will give us very soon. You know, in the collection, in our collection. So I'm I'm kind of curious about that. I'm hoping, like I said, I'm hoping that you know they will give us something very special, very something unique. In, in the world of She-Ra and the Princess of Power Line. But only time can tell. You know, so let's hope and fingers crossed. But there you go, guys. There's a look at Mantana. Of course, like like all Orson's figures, you can pop the head off, you can pop the waist, um, you can pop it from the arms. Um, you can mix and match, you know, fully articulated. Um, cool, so cool. All right. But now, now I'm going to rank these now, you know, to my least favorite, to my favorite. All right. So I'm going to get the old vintage version of, of Mantana out of the way. <laughs> Very cool. Oops. All right. Now, man. So I guess I got to start here. I mean, this is going to be, you know, and there's nothing wrong with this Mantana. Like I said, you know, once we unbox all of these figures, you know, Mantana... Ram Man and She-Ra, of course, I might change my mind, um, but I got to start somewhere, and they're very equal. They're like neck and neck. Um, and I have nothing bad to say about this Mantana, uh, but I have to choose somebody for third place, um, and it's got to be Mantana. I mean, this is an amazing figure. And the fact that, you know, he was not included with any item was very odd, um, but the detail looks great for him. He looks absolutely amazing. Um, so he comes in third place, but this this list can change. You know, once we unbox these guys, um, all of them they might change. Um, but for now, I have to choose a, a third place. You know, who gets the bronze? Who gets the bronze medal? And it's Mantana. 
still an amazing figure. I love it. Very cool. A much, for me personally, a much improved version of Mantana uh, from his Vintage line uh, version, which still is an amazing version as well. All right. So he comes in third place. All right. Coming in second place. All right. Of course, <laughs> we're kind of going backwards in the uh, reviews here. Is Ram Man. Ram Man is amazing. A much, like Mantena, a much improved version of Ram Man. Um, I like the fact that, you know, not even having to unbox him. Um, the look looks great. I see more movement in the head sculpt than his original vintage version of Ram Man. Uh, the detail looks great. The only thing I'm, you know, I'm kind of curious about, if you haven't boxed him um, in your collection, somebody, uh, let me know in the comments below, it, does he still have that spring-loaded attack? Um, I don't think so. I think he has more of that same mimic and body type as the uh, Turtles of Grayskull version of Ram Man. Uh, and that's kind of a, you know, a little bit step down. I really wish they would have kept that same, you know, that same snapping uh, action call out with Ram Man here. But regardless, the detail looks great. I love the updated armor too. It's a much more flexible armor, um, allowing you more movements in the arms and the head sculpts. And I love it. All right, so coming in number two is Ram Man. And without question, I mean, it's her 40th anniversary. Come on. I mean, we have to, I have to give it to She Ra. I mean, she's number one. All right, and put She Ra right here in the front, right here. I mean, this is this is her this is her time to shine now. Her 40th anniversary here, this, the fate. I mean, the it, it look everything about this. The whole like artwork is incredible. First of all, but Shira to me is number one. She the detail looks good on Shira. Of course, you know the proper pro, you know the proper the proper power I mean, sort of of uh, protection and the, you know the sword and the shield as well. Everything is incredible. Um, it would have been nice to get a soft, good uh, you know, fabric cape to come with her, but amazing. Absolutely. This whole line for Wave 21 is incredible. So let me know in the comments below, what is your, you know, who's your, if you had to rank them, which one's your least favorite, and which one's your, to your, to your favorite uh, figure of the cartoon collection of She-Ra. And I do hope, like I said before, in, when I did the the review of Shira, I do hope this is the start of the Princess of Power line and the Origins. I do hope they give us more figures um, in that line, like Spirit and Swift Wind and um, Bo and Glimmer and you know and you know Frosta. I think Frosta is a is, is coming out. I think she was one of the one of the new figures that were mentioned in the photograph or artwork. So I know for sure Frosta is going to be in this universe. And I did see uh, Hordak as well. So I'm very, very excited for this line, for the Princess of Power line. Um, incredible. Amazing. But there you go, guys. There's part of Wave 21. Let me know your thoughts and comments um, in the down, you know, down below you know, of this line here. Which was your favorite uh, figure and which one was your least favorite? All right. All right, guys, I'd like to take time now, of course, to thank my subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. This has been a lot of fun. Of course, today, um, as of filming this, um, which was Tuesday, I was uploaded. Uh, uh, I was I was able to get one pre-order of the Glen, Glendar uh, Mattel Creations figure um, in Origins. And I hope you guys were able to do that as well. Um, as of filming this, the last time I checked, he was still available for pre-order, so he might still be there, um, may or may not, depending on when you watch this video on Wednesday, but I do hope that you were able to secure him, at least one, I did get one, and they just got, I just got notification prior to recording, uh, that it got shipped out, so I'm loving the fact that Mattel, and Mattel Creations is shipping these figures out very quickly to us collectors, I love it. So hopefully within a couple days or so, maybe by Friday or Saturday, who knows, maybe Monday, I will have him in my hands until we can take a closer look at him in the collection. And I hope you guys would join me for that. Um, also, I did uh, 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 get my hands, it's been shipped, of the Rocksteady Bebop 2-Bop Steady uh, Turtles of Grayskull uh, Deluxe Figure. Uh, should be in my hands hopefully very soon until we can take a look at that as well. So a lot, a lot of, you know, so I cannot wait to, um, 
you know, the, you know, to look at these amazing figures together with you guys. Um, now tomorrow, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Um, if I have nothing new as far as Master Universe figures, uh, I'm going to probably unbox Mumra, the Ever Living from Super Seven, and I cannot wait. So I hope you will join me for that. So I hope you guys have a great Tuesday. I mean, have a, yeah, have a great Wednesday. Sorry, and I'll see you guys on Thursday. Take care. And have a good one, everybody.